Hi everyone, this is Guru Vaidya and today we're going to look at how to stabilize shots with Mocha and After Effects. And the shot that we're going to use is this one right here. So, simply. Uh, so this was this is one of the shots from a commercial I'd worked on a long time ago, and I think it was about two years, two and a half years maybe. And one of the challenges at that time was uh, this particular shot was uh, we really had issues trying to stabilize this particular shot. And we were sort of using a pixel based uh, approach to stabilization, you know, in wherein you select a particular pixel and track it and then, uh, but that just, that just failed miserably, it just didn't work. Uh, we even tried it on various online systems, but it still still was quite a challenge. And so we're going to look at how Mocha can sort of overcome this challenge because Mocha isn't necessarily selecting a it's it's not a point based tracker as such. It's 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 a planar based tracker. It looks at texture. I think it's, it's, it does a much, much better job in terms of uh, dragging footage. So this was a shot, this is how it was. And then finally, what we're going to try and achieve is to get something like this. You see that? It's, it's a lot more stable and uh, looks much better too. So that's what it is. So let's let's head into Mocha and uh, get the track, and then once we have the track completed and done and over with in Mocha, then we'll export that back into After Effects and apply the track. So let's head into Mocha now. All right, so we're in Mocha right now. So first things first, let's get the footage in. So I'm gonna click on New Project. And I'm going to select my clip, which is right here. And I'm just going to change my pixel aspect ratio to PAL. Say OK. Actually, let's not overwrite it. I'm just going to give it a name. Let's say Stabilize. And let's say OK to that. All right. So I've got my footage in Mocha right now. So. <clears throat> So here's my footage. Unfortunately, it's not. It's not. I couldn't get my hands on the the final footage uh, that we had used in the film. Uh, but I think this this would be. I think this works for this particular example. So let's use. Let's kind of first draw a mask around the uh, the car, and then get that tracking. So I'm going to select the Bezier tool here. Oh, sorry, the Explain Explain tool, and I'm going to come in here and just make a selection around it there you go and once you have a selection you can just straight off uh, just come in here and say track forward and that's it it's done all right so now what we need to do is we need to take this tracking information back into after effects so what you need to do is click on export tracking data which is right here and what's important here is that usually uh, in the past i've shown tutorials where we were exporting the corner pin information from here but since we are uh, required to stabilize this shot, so we're gonna, I'm going to select the transform data, it's right there, and I'm going to say copy the clipboard, and now I'll head back into After Effects and paste that information there. So I'm back in After Effects. I'm going to select the footage and say Control V, which is paste. And what that does is, if you notice, uh, all of the information, the tracking information that was 
uh, that we had done in Mocha has now come into After Effects right here. So let's just see what we have here. So before you sort of hit play and, and see what you've got, uh, just ensure that you come down to transform and deselect all of that. And I'm going to just click on position and turn that off because we're not really looking for position. We don't really need the position information here. So with that turned off, let's see what we have so far. It looks pretty good, but if you notice, we have some sort of rotation here, so we need to get rid of that. Uh, it's not a problem. You can just come back here, and what's happening is basically uh, the tracking information. So what we essentially need to do here is negate negate the rotation values. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in here. I'm going to all click on that little stopwatch there. What that does is allows me to put an expression here. So I'm going to say rotation into minus one and oops, let's come back here. Let's say let's click outside. Let's see what we have so far. So that takes care of the rotation. We still have one issue of the scale. So for that, uh, there's another expression that can sort of take care of that. So I'm just going to come in here. So this is what I need. Um, all of the expressions that I've used in this tutorial, I'll, I'll ensure that uh, I make a note of it on my blog. So you'll find these expressions uh, under the tutorial on my blog, so you can just copy paste it. So I'm just going to copy this, and where it says scale, you know, I'll click on that little stopwatch again, like I did before, and hit Control V, so paste that, click outside, let's see what we have. Uh, I think we could use some more scale here. So, okay, I'm just gonna op option or all click on that particular expression there, so it opens it up, uh, it maximizes the view basically. And and what I'm going to do here is just gonna multiply this by eleven thousand. See if that works. Come back here. There you go. Looks much, much better than before. So, if you were to compare this to the earlier one, this is what we had earlier. And this is what we have now. So, I hope this was fun. Thanks for watching.